служащим в веру, братья, сестры, часы поющие, приказ, скому совета, прихожество, храма сего, и рабом твоим, но просвещенным младенцем Давидим и всем где предстоящим молящимся, и всем православным христианам много я лет. And in her resurrection, 
in which she has so been so completely united to God that she becomes a very source of His grace and mercy and consolation, as we all know, as we all experience her. But it was through all of this long history, all of these, these centuries and generations and generations, and some of them weren't exactly uh, stories of obedience to God. He mentions uh, uh, David begat Solomon by Uriah, the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Well, that was a little problematic because he, uh, he had Uriah killed so that he could take his wife after an adulterous affair. Um, there are all sorts of uh, things in this history because not all of these people were righteous in the, uh, according to the law. Not all of these people were those who did not struggle with the law. In other words, they're like us. They're like us. Because one of the most important things for us to remember, especially in this time as we're preparing ourselves to go to confession, to, to uh, prepare ourselves to receive the Holy Mysteries on, on the Feast of the Nativity, is for us to remember our own unrighteousness and our own shortcomings, so that we confess, can confess them and be free of them. And then, it is through this great preparation, through all of these generations that God prepared Israel, and through all the years of our lives, all of our struggling with God, all of our unrighteousness, all of our sins, all of our rebellion, all of our fallen short, that God came forth from the, from, in the womb, from the womb of the virgin to be born in the cave and laid in the manger. And yet, even through all of that, God comes forth in us as well to be born in our hearts so that we might be born in God. Despite our sins, despite our unrighteousness, despite our shortcomings and, our, and, our, and all, of, all of the ways in which we rebel, God comes forth and He's born in our hearts. And when we celebrate the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, we celebrate not only His coming in the flesh 2,000 years ago, we celebrate His coming to us. To be born, to be being born in Him, that He is born in us. That having taken on our humanity, uh, 